students myself dani ram sahu today about discuss concept and identification of active sites by the use of inhibitors paper second se to dekhte hain active sites of the enzyme the enzyme are powerful catalyst and can enhance a biochemical reaction from 10 into 5 time and 10 into 17 times the active site of an enzyme is the region that binds with the substrate some important characteristics of active sites are first hai the active site is a cleft the active site of the enzyme is a three dimensional cleft which has a number of amino acid residue which are placed far apart in the enzyme but project into the cleft because specific holding of the enzyme protein second hai the active site is a small part almost all enzymes have a primary chain of more than 100 amino acids the active site formed by the first few amino acids the other amino acids serve as a scaffold third hai substrate binding involves multiple interaction the amino acid residue in the active site by with bind the substrate at a specific location by a number of interaction such as electrostatic interaction hydrogen bonds van der waal force hydrophobic interaction etc fourth hai the active site provide a perfect fitting with the substrate the enzyme substrate binding requires close vicinity in bracket 0.177 nm for hydrogen bond and 0.24 nm for van der waals force etc therefore the active site must have a shape fitting perfectly with the substrate two models have been proposed for this perfect fitting lock and key model first hai aur second jo hai industry fit model <coughs> fifth hai active site release energy the interaction between substrate and the amino acids in the active site of the enzyme release some free energy which provides stability to the enzyme substrate complex this energy is called binding energy and is responsible for lowering the activation energy inhibitors are molecule which either reduce, reduce the enzyme activity or completely block it are called inhibitors this this are the great pharmacological importance aspirin for example is an such agent which effect the first step in the synthesis of prostaglandin <coughs> which are involved in including pain <coughs> two types of inhibitors are recognized irreversible inhibitors and reversible inhibitors first irreversible inhibitors mein hai irreversible inhibitors are those which covalently bind with the enzyme or modify the functional sites of the enzyme thus rendering in ineffective three types of irreversible inhibitors first a hai group specific inhibitors b substrate analogous as inhibitors c hai suicide inhibitors uske baad aata hai second jo रिवर्सिबल इनहिबिटर्स के देखते हैं रिवर्सिबल इनहिबिटर्स आर दोज विच बाइंड विद दी इंजाइम टू ब्लॉक इट एक्टिविटी बट सुन डिसोसिएट फ्रॉम इट मेकिंग दी इंजाइम एक्टिव रिवर्सिबल इनहिबिटर्स में बी अप टू टाइप्स कम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिटर्स नॉन कम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिटर्स यहाँ से देखते हैं कॉन्सेप्ट एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ एक्टिव साइड्स बाई दी यूज ऑफ इनहिबिटर्स एन एंजाइम है जो डिस्ट टिंट कविटी आर क्लेप्ट इन विच दि सबिस्टेंट इज बाउंड द क्लेप्ट कंटेंट एन एक्टिव सेंटर इन विच दि 
amino acids are grouped together in such a way <coughs> as to enable them to combine with substrate the reactive amino acids may lie widely separated in the polypeptide chain the chain however undergoes folding in such a manner that the reactive amino acids come together in active sites it is believed that when the substrate molecule bind to the site active sites its parts are held together in such a way as to catch the sorption of chemical bonds i.e. the bonds are weakened the sorption of chemical bonds of substrate increase the reactivity and thus uh, speed up the rate or reaction the product of reaction are released because they are less firmly bonds the mechanism is called strain model of catalyze yes inhibitors are compound which decrease the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction inhibitors is diagrammatically shown below yes there are enzyme inhibitors or yes enzyme inhibitor complex ka nirman hota hai fig 3.12 inhibitors mein types of inhibitors inhibitors are of two types irreversible inhibitors reversible inhibitors is many different reversible inhibitors help in the identification of active sites actually irreversible inhibitors involve the covalent covalent bonding of inhibitors to a functional group at the active site are elsewhere on enzyme because progressively decline irreversible inhibitors cannot be analyzed by meselich menton kinetics this type of inhibitors is frequently used to obtain information regarding the function amino acids at the active sites of the enzyme to irreversible inhibitors include some of the pesticides <coughs> example of propagation is an active inhibitor of insect acetylcholin steroids upon which normal propagation of nervous impulse release since inhibitors is irreversible in the which the substance in the catalytic cycle is converted into a chemically reactive product which remains bound to active site through covalent bonding the enzyme is rendered permanently inactive and the identification of active site is done on the basis of its reaction with inhibitors thank you